Good morning, Patriots! Welcome to Rex Times TV. I'm Mules Don Lorenzo. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag, flag of the United States of America and to the republic, republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. We will now be seated. Today is Wednesday, March 10th, 2021. Let's go to Randy to see what happened today in history. Thank you, Osdani. Today in history on March 10th, 1876, the first telephone call was made by Alexander Graham Bell to his assistant, Thomas Watson. His words were, Mr. Watson, come here, I want to see you. As an expert in sound and public speaking, his skills gave him the chance to teach deaf people and promote his division to later invent the phone. His genius invention prevailed over the years, communicating the, with the whole world without having to be in front of each other. Definitely keeping in touch with the phone is a hard way to live. Thank you, Mr. Bell. Now let's go to Scott for the sports highlights. Thank you, Randy. Today's sports highlights are brought to you by the Patriots. Nebraska senior Abby Napton made history when she captured first place in the Big Ten Conference Diving Championship last Friday night. Napton added this win to an impressive list of career accomplishments that continues to grow. This individual title came just one day after she captured a runner-up finish on the three-meter dive. Her final score of 343.55 marked the second best platform in her total career. Abby began diving at 14 years old. She has started gymnastics when she was three years old and is now a level eight gymnast. She listens to music and visualizes her dives and Imagine Dragons is her favorite. Now let's go to Onalicia for the lunch report. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch is crispy chicken patty, bun, baby carrots, ranch dressing, diced peaches, barbecue sauce, and milk. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to Yazdani. Thank you, Annalicia. Scholars, our March Madness competition runs until this Friday, March 12th. Keep up the amazing work, Patriots. You can keep track of your class status by viewing the tournament leaderboard on the wall outside of the cafeteria. Single elimination rounds will determine the champion class. The incentive will be pizza and ice cream for the winning class. Patriots, St. Patrick's Day grounds are here. You can show someone you care by sending them a St. Patrick's Day ground. Get one of these awesome gift packages, only $3 and $5. Fill out the ground and put a smile on someone's face. Grounds will be delivered to your friends on Wednesday, March 17th, and the last day to buy them is Tuesday, March 16th. Get your friends a bracelet and they'll never get pinched on the St. Patty's Day again. Now, let's see what the weather's gonna be like today with David. Thank you, Yos Donnie. Today's weather in Pembroke Pines, Florida is forecast to be 77 degrees Fahrenheit and probably cloudy. Another cool Florida day, so go outside and enjoy it. Now let's go to Simon for the joke of the day. Thank you, David. And here's today's joke of the day. Why should you be careful when you're playing against a team of big cats? Because they might be cheetahs. Now let's go to South and today's birthday. Thanks, Samuel. That was hilarious. Today's birthday boy is Jalen Thomas. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to you, Donnie. Thank you, Solomon. Patriots, don't forget your pet's expectations. It represents present yourself positively, out kind towards others, to the school's environment respectfully and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Adam Denkwa, Ms. Newton, Ms. Julian, Ms. Kane, Ms. Dry, Ms. Manon, Ms. Stone, Ms. Moraz, and Ms. Gonzalez. You all had the correct answer to yesterday's riddle, which was, I can be cracked, I can be made, I can be told, I can be played. What am I? The correct answer to the riddle was a joke. Now for today's riddle. Bobby likes Jimmy, but not Joe. Apples but not pears, jeeps but not vans, tennis but not hockey, volleyball but not squash. Who will, who will he like and why, Sarah or Sally? Again, Bobby likes Jimmy but not Joe. Apples but not pears, jeeps but not vans, tennis but not hockey, 
volleyball but not squash. Who will you like and why? Sarah or Sally? Teachers, please send your answer to times.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for a response to be reviewed. Everyone at RBTV would like to wish you all a wonderful Wednesday. And don't forget, remember, unite, rise. Have a great day.